Eagles clash in West Ishpeming as Ryan Riekel returns to his old stomping grounds. Good evening, everyone. One time in college, I was sitting down minding my own business when some dude walks up to me and says, hey, I know you. And I said, no, you don't. He says, yeah, you went to Fortson High School in Dearborn, right? And I said, please leave me alone. And he says, yeah, you used to sit by yourself and sleep during lunch. And I said, I hope all your dreams never come true. The guy then walked away with a stunned look on his face. For me, it's just awkward to see people from your old stopping grounds. I hope it wasn't like that tonight for Ryan Riekel as he returned to the school he used to coach for. There's Coach Riekel and his lady hematites looking for a win against Westwood. Third quarter, Ishpeming up by 12. It's Stone Cold Mariah Austin from the awkward angle and it goes in as the hematites lead increases. The Patriots respond immediately and it's whoop, turn the page. Rivard nails the three as Westwood battled back against their rivals. Later, Austin 316. Jumper from the free throw line is good as Ishpeming doubles the score on Westwood. But the home team, they would continue to fight back once again. It's whoop, turn the page. Rivard with another three pointer as she cuts the lead to 10 points. But the Hematites would keep getting buckets. Cora Swanson with the stop and pop from Swanson's Creek. Ishpeming wins it 34 27, the final score. To the scoreboards now, it was Lance over Barriga, 51-31, thanks to Alexis Francis and her 14 points. Hancock blows by Lake Linden Hubble, 57-22. Maya Sibis had 22 points, and Molly Berg had 17 for the Bulldogs. They will face Calumet on Monday. It was Munising over Carney Nado, 69-28. Frankie Matson gets another double-double with 18 points and 11 rebounds. Jeffers tops Republic Michigami, 60-12. Norway hosted Manistique, and it was the Knights over the Emerald, 71-27. Antonagan goes on the road and defeats Wakefield Marinisco, 60-33. And Chassel gets the home win over Watersmeet, 58-36. And in Crystal Falls, it was Forest Park over Florence, 68-33. Abby Nyland had 25 for the Lady Trojans. Let's go to Marquette, where the Redmen, they hosted uh, Kingsford. First quarter, no score, but Garrett Finkbeiner says, I can change that. Three-pointer is good for the Fink. It's 3-0 Marquette. Moments later, the Fink slaps the ball away. Luke Pat corrals the ball, and LP3 finishes at the rim. And the Red Bull get another quick basket. Later, it's LP3 again attacking with the left, and it goes as Marquette takes a 10-0 lead. But the Flivers would finally get on the board. Brandon Kowalkowski nails the three and Big K gives Kingsford their first points of the game, and they would build off that bucket with some quick passing. Nick Gladowski absorbs the contact and scores. Nikki G trying to keep Kingsford in the game, but the Redmen love that home cook cooking. It's Ian OG for three, and that boy is an OG, and let me show you why. My man stays alert on the Flivers' fast break attempt, grabs the rebound, comes back down the court, scans the defense, and says, I'll do this on my own, and one. OG had 16 points, 11 boards, and six assists as Marquette tops Kingsford, 71-52. To the boys' scoreboards now, as we have a few scores to report. It was Iron Mountain over Westwood, 61-41. Carson Wonders had 25 points for the Mountaineers. Luke Gray had 11 for the Patriots. And it was Dollar Bay over Watersmeet, 65-50. High school hockey tonight saw Escanaba skate to a 3-3 tie with the team from Caitlin's hometown, Chelsea. No way! The Eskimos rallied from a 3-1 deficit as Garth Wickham scored twice, including the game-tying goal. Chris Lemire also scored, and Parker LaMarche had three assists. College basketball now as the Lady Huskies knocked off Northwood on the road 90-69. Danielle Blake filled up the stat sheet with 20 points, 7 blocks, 6 assists, 5 rebounds, and 2 steals. The Lady Wildcats also got a win tonight, topping Lake Superior State 51-44. Taylor Hodell led the way with 16 points, and Darby Youngstrom chipped in with 14. For the men, it was MTU edging Northwood 61-60 behind a career-high 32 points from Kyle Monroe. And NMU, well, they fell to Lake Superior State 65-56. Naba Eccles led the Wildcats with 13 points and 5 steals.